Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video, and we are starting off this episode by doing a bit of smithing, because we have a lot of gold ore left over from the Motherload Mine, and I really don't want to spend the cash on the Blast Furnace to smelt gold ore, so we're going to be smelting it the old-fashioned way. Man, I'm telling you, those goldsmith gauntlets were definitely worth it. They are putting in work right now, and we're getting like 50k XP per hour, so that's decent. I mean, it's not as good as getting 350k XP per hour from the Blast Furnace, but for where we're at in the game, I think that's pretty good. Here is 59 smithing. We're starting to come up close to 60. Uh, hopefully we can make it there. Let's see how many more bars we need. Uh, looks like we need 450 more bars. Let's take a look at the bank and see if we have enough gold ore for that. Perfect. We got 500 left, which means we can get to 60. And that means that whenever we decide to use the blast furnace again, we won't have to pay that extra fee every 10 minutes. 60 smithing. Oh my god, that seems like such a clean level to have on Iron Man. But let's see what we can do. We can make mithril battle axes and dragon square shields. Uh, so there we go, 60 smithing finally. Let's see how many bars we ended up making. Oh my, that is a lot of gold bars. We can make a lot of jewelry out of that. Or something else we could do is we could craft the gold bars into gold amulets for some good crafting XP. And then eventually once we unlock the lunar spellbook, we could use the string jewelry spell once we craft a bunch of astral runes and get some good magic XP as well. Yo, I never realized that the bone grinder at the Ectophuntus does all the bones automatically. I thought you had to click on the bone each time to put each one in the grinder, but no, it does it all by itself. It's so cool that OS Buddy puts the left click option as use rather than bury. I know it does that when you're at like altars and houses, but apparently today I learned that it does that at the Ectophuntus too. I am so glad we did that agility grind. This shortcut makes the Ectophuntus so much easier and quicker. Also the main reason why we're doing this right now is not for the prayer XP but for the animal magnetism quest because it requires you to have 20 ecto tokens. And then because we have the ecto file from doing ghosts ahoy we don't even have to worry about running all the way back we can just teleport straight back up there. Ooh look at all that prayer XP I know where I'm coming back to but uh let's claim the ecto tokens now. Whoa, 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 great, I forgot my ghost speak amulet. Good thing there's a bank right here though, and with the ectophile we can teleport straight back, amazing. Tokens plucks, and thank you, let's go start this quest now. Alright, and we are at the start of the animal magnetism quest, and we only have 30 range at the moment, so we're just going to get opposite tractor rather than the accumulator, but we'll eventually work our way up to 50, I just don't want to waste arrows from here on out. Yes, this has to be one of the best cutscenes in the game, this one is a classic for sure. I can imagine how annoying it would be though, always having random people come onto your property and kill your animals, I mean that's your livelihood, that's how you live, that's how you eat. Like, that's literally how you eat. That's your food. Oh my god, I just realized that even the chicken's a ghost, and it's saying, woo 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 woo. Nah, but for real though, Cow Elite Killer is the most OG player of all time. I never knew this was equipable. The undead chicken. Was it always like that? Like, even in RuneScape 2? Because I've never seen anyone ever equip this before. Let's see the stats on this thing. Okay, so it's just like any other regular fun weapon, like flowers or something. We're gonna be the next Cow Elite Killer. Let's see what this thing can do. I just realized this cow has probably been hanging out with this chicken for Year, so he's like, bro, bro, you good? Alrighty, and there is quest complete. Unfortunately, no levels were gained in the completion of this quest, but we did get that Slayer XP, which I can always appreciate. And we've got the opposite tractor too, of course, which will save us 72% of our arrows. I just noticed that we're level 70 combat now, and we were at 69 for the longest time, and I never realized that we leveled up. But that means we could use the Fairy Slayer Master now, but I don't think we're going to be using that except for every 10th task to get the extra points because those monsters might be a little bit too tough that she assigns. It is time to upgrade our armor because we did Dragon Slayer and we couldn't afford a Rune Plate Body, so let's alg all these Steel Plate Bodies and get those upgrades. We are just finishing up alking the last of these Steel Plate Bodies right now, so let's see how much the Rune Plate Body is going to cost us. 84k? Dude, are you kidding me? I think I'd be better off just grinding out 99 smithing and making it myself, honestly. That's almost as much of a ripoff as the rune axe. Why are the rune items so expensive in this game? Hopefully, after all that, we'll have enough money to buy the rune plate legs, but let's see how much they are. 64k, I don't know what else I was expecting. At least the range armor is cheap though, so we got a full green dragon hide set as well as the rune plate body and plate legs, so we are all set for combat and slayer. Although, unfortunately, our cash stack has seen better days before. Alright, check out this new gear setup. You can't go wrong with that iron kite and the amulet of accuracy, and those gloves are the best fashion scape. And that coif is to let people know that you're not scared to brid them either. This guy is actually really terrifying. I would not mess with him. And we got the maze random. Let's see what we get from this. <laughs> and let's see what we got. Absolute trash. I wasn't expecting anything good though. That's the reason why I normally would just dismiss them. And we got that 52 defense coming in back on that Slayer grind for a bit. Now normally on my main, I would never be collecting these seeds, but as an Iron Man, 
By the way, we could really use as many seeds as possible. See, I get you with that every time. I know you weren't expecting that. And you come and watch these videos all the time and you never expect me to say that. And I know it throws you off and gets you every single time. And with this kill of the Ice Warrior, we got 38 Slayer. Of course, the attack animation takes away that notification. But I just feel so accomplished every time we level up Slayer on here. I was taking a lot of damage from the Ice Warrior, so I figured it's a good time to upgrade the helm. And we have enough cash for the Addy Full Helm, so that should help us out a lot. This new setup is OP. No, no, dude, while I was running here, I was trying to think like who assigns green dragons, and I was thinking of all these scenarios in my head, like how I would get rid of this and having to spend all my points or restart all my tasks. I, I didn't think he actually assigned them though. Oh my. I really, really don't want to have to do this, but we don't have enough points to block it, so we gotta cancel this task because we are not going into the wilderness for this. That hurts, but we gotta do it. And we got Harpy Bug Swarms now, so that's not too bad. So I was playing on my main for a little while, so I was AFKing on the hardcore for a bit, and we got some nice fishing levels from this. And with 53 fishing, that means we can catch Lava Eel, so we'll be all set for fishing for the Hero's Quest. I know I should be barb fishing, but like I said, I was just trying to AFK on here, and I do want to get fish to train Slayer with. I switched over to fishing lobsters at around 54 fishing, because I wanted to see how they compared to fishing tuna or swordfish, and I didn't really notice that much of a difference. But 55 fishing seems like a good place to stop for now. Now, and here's all the fish we got from that. But let's go cook these now, and I'm not going to bother switching the goldsmith gauntlets over to the cooking gauntlets because that's going to cost a lot of GP to change them back and forth, but we should get a good few cooking levels from this. Best skill in the game right here, I'm telling you, these levels are so easy. It's really weird training cooking on here because usually when I'm playing on this account I'm AFK cooking on my main, so it's like cooking exception, I guess. I should make them cook at the same place, that would be so weird. And there is 55 cooking, and we're going to stop right there because it's matched up to fishing, and we're kind of burning a good amount of food, so I don't want to waste too much of this higher level food. Well, I guess not high level, it's lobster, so I guess mid level, but that's high for me. But now we're off to start the quest between a rock, and I am so happy that I have fairy rings unlocked for this. I was running through Taverly on the hardcore, and I saw a dragon impling, and my main was right there in the rogues den on the same world, so I had to run out and grab it. The loot was decent. Yo, look at all those different tier cannonballs. He's got rune cannonballs over there. I want to try out some of those. This guy really about to shoot me through a cannon right now. Look at my face. And now look at his face. Look at that smug little laugh of his. He better have insurance. I love the animations on this game. They're just so funny, but we made it into the mine now safe and sound. We actually just got 76 mining from mining this gold that we need for the quest. That's pretty sick. Dude, all these quests that we're doing have such sick cutscenes. Like, I know these animations and graphics are from, like, the early 2000s, but it's still so cool. And that is quest complete. We did not gain any levels, but we got a good chunk of XP. And we got the rune pickaxe, which we're about to alk in just a minute to make some bank off of. Here we go. And look at that, beautiful, 19k. And with that, that is going to put our whole cash stack at just under 26k, so we are ballin'. And we are just starting recruitment drive now, which should have been done a long time ago, but we've got to change ourselves into a girl now, so maybe on the way back to Faldor we could sell ourselves out for some GP, if you know what I'm saying. Alright, and let's check ourselves out, see how we're looking now. Nice. Oh yeah, this is the one where you gotta memorize all the statues, so the guide said we should take a picture of it, so let's get right centered in the middle and zoom out a bit, and... Perfect. And here is how that picture turned out. Yeah, I mean, that's literally the picture I just took right now because I'm doing a voiceover. But I think this is one of the most enjoyable quests for me to do, mainly because of the names of all these people. I love the names of all the White Knights. Lay the table, like lay the table. <laughs> and now we've got Mischievers, which with a British accent that's like Mischievous, which is like Mischievous. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. Yo, I thought this whole quest was instance, but I guess not. Alright, this took me longer to figure out than I'm willing to admit, but the tin ore powder is in one of those vials that looks like it's empty, but it's not empty. It has the tin ore powder in there. Wow, they are really getting wild with these names now. Circumference. <laughs> I gotta be extra careful though, because one of the greatest quest guide makers on YouTube died on his first hardcore Iron Man here. His name is Soup, I'm not sure if you've heard of him. So we are not gonna be taking any chances boxing this guy, but thankfully we were able to beat him. These names just keep getting better and better. We got Sir Suspicious over here. <laughs> This looks absolutely ridiculous with my character holding the fox. It looks like it's a private server or something. Like, hey guys, check out my fox longsword. And there is recruitment drive completed, and he actually gave us the money back that we spent to change into a girl. 
And we also got a voucher so we can change back for free. We also gained a prayer level and an herbler level. Always love to get that herbler XP on this account. We also unlocked the ability to buy initiate armor and he gave us the initiate salad for free, but we're not gonna buy the full set. We're gonna wait to unlock Proselyte because that's gonna be much better. But we are going to change back to a guy now because I realized that as an Iron Man, we are independent and we stand alone. So we probably wouldn't be making too much GP off of that. But we are gonna be ending the video now. So let's take a look at our stats now and compare them to where we were at the end of the last video. So first off, looking at our total level, we moved up 22 total levels and moved into the top 6k ranking overall. Also getting from 53 to 60 smithing put us around 1500 rank for that which seems like a pretty low rank for that level, but hopefully they'll be in the top 1k pretty soon. And then the other two main skills that we got up were cooking and fishing, and cooking is now in the top 10k, and fishing will be there very shortly. But I mean, we spent a lot of time doing quests, so the gains aren't too insane in this video, but the progress is still slowly happening day by day, and one of the main goals is still top 1k rank overall, so we are slowly creeping up there. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Uh, I made a Discord for the YouTube channel, which I'll have linked in the description, so don't be shy if you want to come by and chat and make some friends there and my clan chat is always open as well the username is mudkip so feel free to come on by and say hi or just lurk if you're enjoying the hardcore iron man series please let me know by giving the video a like so that i know you want to see more of it and i'm currently posting every single day at 9 a.m pacific standard time so if you want to stay up to date on my videos and see more from me then please subscribe it really would mean a lot and i just want to thank you so much for watching the video and i will see you again tomorrow bye